So we're back now with Harry's Burn. I do apologize every single week. I say, geez, I'm sorry if I miss a horse. It's because horses like White Tiger left Andrew and then went to Harry, but I didn't put them on the bottom of Harry's. Then we have Spirit of Dio, who's now joined Jason's Burn. I know I must have missed her last week, eh? Spirit of Dio. I guarantee you I did. Yep. Missed her. So it's an honest mistake. We'll start now with Harry's Burn. Harry's Burn. So we have Casanova's Jewel. He's been in 25 mile and a half speed, I believe, two or three or four times. Ready to go in the bike. Go mile 210. Big Cass. Let's see if we can get him back racing. Capistrano. She's been pinching. You know, we've talked about the concerns I've had with Capistrano and her lameness left hind, and Harry's been very concerned. We trained her in 157 last week with Don't Believe Me, Just Watch, who raced great. Uh, she didn't train fast yet. I'm going to train her tomorrow at Mohawk, maybe in 2-1, 2-2 if she's sound after the qualifiers to make sure she's tight enough for Saturday night. We're going to take her to Hanover. First, I was going to the stake race in Mohawk. The Every time I forget this stake race. Anyway, a grand circuit event, and then we decided, no, she's not tight enough. She's not sound enough. We are going to go to the gold and this, and I said, no, we're just going to go to grassroots. I'd rather not race her at Hanover, but we've got to get her raced. And um, she doesn't need the points, but what are her alternatives? Race her at Mohawk in a two-year-old race? I might go in 53. So let's just go to Hanover where it's probably going to go 57. We'll see how, how she races. What else? Just a tad. I was going to race him and qualify him. He's just not good right now. I think he's going through some tough, uh, tough things with sickness and stuff also. We're just going to take him to the sale. Same with Screaming Hawk. He's going to qualify tomorrow. I'm going to try and make my flight, get off the plane, drive right to Mohawk in time to qualify Screaming Hawk. In a perfect world, I could do that. We both know it's not a perfect world. We all know it's not a perfect world. That is what I'm going to try and do. Sunshine's Finest is out walking in the jog cart for another couple of weeks, and then he'll start jogging after that. We'll re-x-ray and see how that leg looks, but he's sound. Looks good on the track. Sunshine Inn is racing tomorrow night. This will be her last start before the sale in Ohio. I did put her and a couple of horses on the sale board in Canada. I'm going to add a couple of those horses. Screaming Hawk qualifies good tomorrow. We'll add him also. But um, uh, getting close, getting down to the wire for a few of these horses. Hopefully I have Trafalgar back in Harry's list. Hopefully she rejoins the Harry Poulton burn first part of next week. Utopian, he's probably going to the sale also. Um, I need to talk to Bob about that. So Utopian's likely heading a sale. War We Ultra. We sold War We Ultra last week. You know, I've I've been tried to protect it and say any horses that look like they could go forward in, in the last couple of years, we just didn't sell them. But the reality of it is, is that we're going to have to be exposed with some of these horses where they could go forward for other people. And they may. War We Ultra is one of those fillies. She's on the incline right now. So she, yeah, this guy's, you know, the, the world's her oyster, so to speak. She could get better and better and better and be a nice 55, 56 trotter. But we, we uh, decided to cut her loose. So War We Ultra was sold the other day. And then White Tiger, again, he's bouncing from, uh, he went to Tim Twaddle's burn this week from Harry's burn. Uh, we'll see what happens next. And then he may end up back here in Canada. I don't know why Gold Watch is down here. G does not come after W, Anthony. Up there. Gold Watch. Harry likes him, likes everything about him, says he's coming nicely. You may not remember Gold Watch. Gold Watch is a brother to a horse we had last year that will remain unnamed as of right now. And uh, Harry said he is doing everything really nice, pacing nice, really filled out nicely. Not a big colt. He's one of the he's watching. Same as Don't Believe Me, Just Watch. But uh, doing his work well, most importantly. So that's Harry's burn, I believe. Again, if I miss something, don't, don't, uh, don't persecute me on, on the emails. I do have a list, and there's a lot of horses moving around here, so I do miss them from time to time. Don't think I missed anybody yet. We'll be back in just a minute with Kevin's Burn and then Jason's Burn, both of them.